this is Susan Jane and I'm the Intuitist. Up a little bit earlier this morning, the sun isn't fully out yet. It's just trying to sneak over the, the mountains in the back there. And today I want to talk to you again about some more theory testing that I've done. I've done a lot of theory testing. <laughs> You'll get used to this. I, I'm not one to just take on board what somebody says and take, and take it for gospel. I will test the theory and see how it sits with me. And I encourage everyone to do this. Test the theory. You may find that some of what people say suits you and other areas doesn't suit you. And you just take on board what you need because we've all got horses for courses. We all have uh, areas that suit us and areas that don't. A bit like a diet. Some diets suit some people and some diets don't. So it's a matter of testing a few different ones. So my theory testing this morning is when I tested auras. Now, I could mentally see or feel auras. I, I didn't have any problems. Oh, nearly hit that tree. <laughs> I didn't really have problems with um, perceiving auras. I, could, I, I knew where they were, I knew what it was about. So I could get that. But what I wanted to do was actually test the theory. I wanted to see it in the physical realm. I wanted to get a real understanding of what auras was. So I did practice for a little while and I wasn't even sure what I was practicing. It was more about asking for that guidance, going within and sort of going, okay, I wanna see what auras look like. I wanna see it for myself. I wanna experience it. And I was just very, very mindful of going through it and, and trying to get an understanding of what an aura would look like and what it would be. Again, I was already doing a lot of spiritual work then, so I was tapping in quite easily into my intuition, um, so I didn't have a problem with that. But I wanted to get a really clear understanding, not in my head, I wanted to physically see an aura. And you needed to do it once, just so I could say, I have done it. So, I had, um, I was experiencing a few health issues. There's an aeroplane going overhead. I was experiencing a few health issues. And um, I'd been up a few nights in a row and just not being able to sleep and having all sorts of problems. And this particular night, I, oh, there's a bird up there. This particular night, I, um, I went in and thought, I'm gonna just have a shower and try and relax myself off and, um, you know, try and get back to sleep. So I was in the shower and um, again, I'd been thinking about auras and, you know, how can you see them and what can we do to look, look for them? What's the best way to do it? I've tried through meditation. Um, and I could always see it through my third eye, but I couldn't physically see it. But this particular night, I was in the shower, and similar to my astral travel experience, I looked down and there's this amazing green glow over my legs. It was, it was just incredible, and you only saw it for that split second, um, similar to my astral travel, where you just didn't get didn't get time to sort of really think about it. All I thought was, oh my goodness, that's my aura. I can actually see it. And then it was gone. So it really gave me that concrete understanding of um, what the aura looks like. And the aura was very, very similar in colour and, and in um, density and style to what my near-death experience felt like. Oh, sorry little ones, I didn't mean to frighten you. There's, um, so, yes, it was very, very similar to that. So I have physically seen an aura now. Um, now when I see them in my mind, I know more so what they look like. So it's trying to imagine, if, if somebody's trying to imagine what a cow looks like and they've never ever seen a cow, um, it's it's really quite challenging. You can explain it, what it's like and everything else, but until you really see it, it's it's really hard to do. 
that's how I felt with auras. I, I sort of knew what they were and I'd had read about them and had an understanding, but until I saw it, it didn't make, it didn't seem real, I suppose. I suppose that's the, the terminology I'm looking at. It didn't seem real. I have now physically seen an aura. I haven't seen it since. I don't need to. Um, I've, I've tested the theory. I know they're there now and that's all I, <laughs> that's all I need to do. So again, I'm not saying it's right or wrong, I'm just saying that's me, I'm a theory tester um, and I like to get that understanding for myself. So that's my theory testing on auras um, and that was, that was great, I actually really liked it. Green of course means healing so um, I've done a lot of healing work after that but um, I'll tell you all about that theory when I started testing that one too, that was really interesting. Uh, and crystals, I've got that to do. So there's a lot. Um, I've done a lot of theory testing. So this is Susan Jane. Uh, I'm going to say bye for now. Um, so.